Good morning, boys and girls. Happy Sunday. As you can tell, I have a mask on this morning. And I have one on because I've been thinking about masks this week. And it reminded me of something that I saw that reminded me of something that God said. I saw a picture on the internet of a bird with its legs all caught up in the straps on one of these masks. Um, actually, I saw many pictures of many birds. Apparently, that's become a little bit of a problem. So then I went ahead and read about how to dispose of my mask safely so that I don't endanger um, these creatures that God has made. And that got me to thinking about what the Bible has to say about birds. And it led me to one verse in particular that I really love. So I'd like you to listen to it this morning because it's God's word to you and to me. I'll be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 10, verse 29 and 30. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father, and even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid, you are of more value than many sparrows. Boys and girls, that was good news to me for a couple of reasons. One, because it reminds me that I'm precious to God and that he says I'm of more value than many sparrows. But also because it reminds me that God cares for the sparrow, that he cares for every living thing that he's created. And that when I care for the living things that he's created, it's a wonderful way for me to honor him and to remember how much he loves me and how much he loves that particular sparrow. Boys and girls, the Bible says not one bird has its legs caught up in the strap of a mask that the Lord doesn't know about. Isn't that good news this morning? So here's what I'd like you to do the next time you wear one of these masks. When you're ready to throw it away, okay, you can take scissors or you can simply Pull it out, just like that. And then you're ready to throw it away and to care for God's creation. Boys and girls, I love you. I miss those of you who aren't here. I'm so glad to be with those of you who are. And then I hope that you all have a wonderful Sunday.